All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we go. We're putting interior pieces in now. I've got my little um, rollers, I guess, for the doors. It's kind of like a for the door latch. Now I gotta um, rivet these in, mono bolt, if you will. And they were a little rusty before, so I zinc coated them. <laughs> I should have recorded it, but you know, it's like where you put it in a solution, put some zinc in it, put some electricity to it, and <laughs> it makes zinc stick to it. So, anyways, that's really cool because I don't really want these to rust. Not that I think they're gonna rust up there, but I mean, it can't hurt, right? So, anyways, let's put that back on, these back on, and then I think. I think I'm gonna run some speaker wire into here for the speakers. I've got some Roadworks dual revolution lights that I'm gonna put down here for um, the reading lights. But if we go to a show, I wanna make it so it lights up red. So I'm not sure where I might put the other two. I, I was thinking of here, but I don't know that I wanna make it so that I don't, I don't, I don't know that that's where I want to put them is what I'm saying. So I think I'll run wire back here just so that we can run them if we want to, or if we want to put some up here, but I might put them on the back side of this maybe, but the reality is it's not that important right now, but I just want to run the wires so that in the future we can put them in when we want to put them in. So does that make sense? I think it makes sense. So anyways, let's take in, uh, get these suckers in and make things happen, man. Okay, where's my airline? Got it. I got it, I got it. <laughs> I kinda oh, pulled my groin muscle the other day and uh, it's a little hard bending over, not gonna lie. Well, it's not hard bending over, it's hard standing up sometimes. Okay, it just hurts a little bit. It's achy. Maybe that's the right word, achy. So, these... oh, I did have a few small ones left. Okay, well, that's good to know. And where did these guys went here? Okay, and then this is gonna go like that. So we put it in there like this. Another one in there like that. And we can pop it. That works. Oops. Ooh. Good thing about the old foam in here is it's good on the knees. It's like having little knee pads. put the side pieces in. Actually, you know what, let's put the... Uh, I should have that a little sand where I marked it. And we can paint this, this feller. But let's put some uh, speaker wire in. some more wire in my side cutters because I do not see them here. 
So these are the lights we want to put in. When I say we, I mean I. So they've got, I'm not really sure why they have four, four wires. I'm Confucius. So I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna assume that white is, let's turn on this charger, that white is ground. say why doesn't it say on the box I do not know it's probably not gonna work because there's no battery odd is the battery easy to get out on the tractor okay I've got jumper cables hooked up to my tractor I'm going to assume that white is ground still. <laughs> so yellow, oh that's actually pretty bright, is clear. Black is red. Ooh, and that's really bright. Hello. So we can have white for for a reading light, which is probably going to be almost too bright. But ooh, it's got that starry look. But um, then the question is, do you have it on the bright, <laughs> or just red? No, I don't know. I guess I could run three wires. I might as well run three wires. Well, actually, there's four wires, so, because I have a ground. And then, doot, doot, doot. And that for a signal light. On the inside of the truck? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I know what they do. <laughs> awesome. Just need to hook up jumper cables. <laughs> resistance <laughs> I don't know I'll find out one day okay I've got the wires run so I've got the four going into this back speaker hole I've got a speaker wire there I've got all the connections behind this light here and they're going up and around to uh, 
the dash and uh, I also have them going up and over and then over there so I think I would like to put um, two watermelon lights here on these panels and this is gonna come up I don't know I should probably well I'm just wondering if I should put the the bottom bunk in first and then see where it folds up um, but I got to paint this so I think I'll do that now I'll uh, paint it and then uh, that way it can dry and stuff and uh, and then I can work on some other lights but yeah I want to put one watermelon light here for sure I was thinking about four but maybe four would be too many but can you really have too many yeah you probably can but two would probably look good it's just whether or not when this is up you don't want to have this up and then have it you know obstructing the light so maybe just one maybe one per side so be one there one two and then on this side I can put something as well so I figure we're gonna kind of be playing it by ear as to how the panels go in that but uh, I got to put the the bunk in well I got to paint that and then I can put the side pieces in here and the bunk but I should probably do the bunk first before these side pieces so I can figure out if the watermelon lights are going to work. If I go with four. In a way, I kind of want to make it so that they're a bit hidden, if that makes any sense. But I also ran wires into here, so if I want to have them down here or if I just want to put a light like up in each corner, that might be an idea. You know, just up in each corner where it's shining so i probably don't need to get too carried away because it's going to be a lot of light so anyways i'm going to tuck these wires in i'm also going to stuff a bunch of foam in here for the speakers and that and just fill it right up with all the extra bits and uh i'll put on a mask and uh i got some semi-gloss paint same as this to uh paint that back panel so yeah I got some runs it really irritates me so now I'm gonna have to let it dry <clears throat> give it a little sand <sighs> I guess I put it on a little too thick but it's kind of hard to tell with you know the spray can so um, anyways I mapped out where I'm gonna put my watermelon light and it's gonna go right like that I was gonna put it in the center but then I realized you're gonna have interior padding here so then I thought you know what if I center it between these two holes and that there it should be good so so right about there that's where it's gonna go anyway so let's drill some holes man because the um, the wires will go through it
There, now. Put this cover over. Where did I put the little bolts? Right here. Not sure why I have four bolts, but Awesome. There. There's one. And that's gonna go up there like that. I think that's gonna be really cool. Okay, let's do the other one. <clears throat> Like number two. Like that. And the panel's gonna be there. I like it. Okay. Oop, bang my head again. I put some scotch locks on here with the blade connector. And I did the same over in that corner. So then when I go and put those other panels on, um, I can just and stick them on. And I think uh, I'm gonna have to touch this up, but I think I could probably put those side panels on now and then touch it up too, because I should probably touch up the, the mono bolts that I put on, put in. So I think I'm just gonna run with it. God hates a coward. Ah, it probably doesn't, but you know. this upper bunk in but it looks a little bit gungy it's not bad I mean I I kind of cleaned it with the pressure washer and all that good stuff and some acid wash and but I think we'll give it a spray um, this has got some fallout from the smoke and this is like from a mattress sitting there for a long time so and just rubbing away so I'm just gonna give it a quick sand and we'll throw some paint at it put my breathing apparatus on okay.
Okay, so this is all primed up. So I will let that, <clears throat> I'm gonna let that dry. Um, inside, I, um, <clears throat> I touched up all the paint. I still have a bit of a run over there, but uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I also put um, this panel over the passenger side door right there. I find it really difficult with this LED light that's in there. It, um, and that light's tripping out and it's on a motion sensor, so. Anyways, um, yeah, I find it hard to, uh, to see in there with that LED light, so. But anyways, we're getting there. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I've got some acid and uh, now this is etching acid that uh, you use for like cleaning aluminum and well it turns your aluminum white is what it does but for cleaning trucks and stuff and what I want to do just set you guys here ah, is clean these bolts for the, um, the um, wood grain panels on the back toolbox. Now, I had cleaned them with vinegar and uh, it seemed to work somewhat, but I'm gonna do it again, only this time with this acid because it actually takes rust off and uh, and then I'm gonna paint them. Don't need to paint all these nuts, but just trying to get things organized here. Cause I have some. What's out of screw? For? Well, I guess that's got a couple long ones. Got a couple of short ones. Little suckers. Anyways, let's just put these bolts in here and see what happens uh one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven and eight short one and on these i have one two three four five six seven eight sure what those, those hotter ones are anyways I'll let those steep for a minute and uh, see how it works out well <clears throat> while those are steeping I'm gonna put uh, these little panels on up here to close those off and um, I think I'm going to stuff some foam insulation up there just to help eliminate some noise. I'm putting these on backwards because then this there's no hole where normally the hole would be at the back so 
so the seat belting can come down. Now this is, the paint on these isn't that great, but it's going to get covered with uh, interior, with vinyl. <laughs> okay, I got some rubber gloves so I can fish these suckers out. I'll just lay them here and see they're, they don't look like they're rusty anymore. Well, these ones. I mean, there could still be a little bit in them, but uh, I think it's working. Right? Stinky. Yeah, I'd say that's working. Perfect. Well, that one, yeah. It's like it takes everything off. That one's got some, I don't know if it's carbon or paint or what. But they definitely look better. So that's good. So I should put something else in this mixture. I want some of these other screws. Because the I got new snaps from the day cab company to put in there. Some of these other bolts, um, I don't know what they're for to tell you the truth. I don't remember. Maybe that's the problem with, uh, hmm. some of these are like sizzly bubbling. It's kind of interesting. But yeah, maybe that's the problem with uh, taking so long to do this. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Let's see whatever I can find for bolts. Machine screws, I guess it is. They're not really bolts, they're machine screws. The reason is, I'd like to reuse this if I can. Um, and of course, there's all different sizes, so I never know what, you know, what you're gonna need where. I mean, certainly if I got some gungy stuff, you know, I'm not gonna, put it in a nice new interior but uh, by the same token if it's the stuff underneath where I can just take the rust off of it and give them a little bit of a painty paint well why don't we do that so that's what I'm gonna do that's what I am doing and besides reuse recycle restore don't throw it out is that how it goes? Probably not. But yeah, that looks really good. Now I just have to clean these off. And these ones. I let them stew. Okay, I got my electrical stuff here. So now what I should do is um, actually rinse these. I wonder if I should rinse them or just use some um, brake clean. Not sure. They look good though. Look at how nice, um, look at how nice these turn out. So look at that. I don't know if we can zoom right in, they're gray, um, but I don't see any rust, so that works good. And I'll just give them a little, whoosh, and then we can keep using them. Probably too much, but you know, some is good.
More is probably better. You can see all the gunge off these ones. <laughs> so yeah, I took in, got some water here, dipped them in water, wiped them off, brake cleaned them, and that's what we got. So anyways, what can I do now? I'll go check and see if that's dry. And then maybe we can see what the lights look like inside the sleeper. I'll do some hot wiring. Okay. I'm using, I'm using a Milwaukee 18 volt battery to try this out. So there's the clear. It's not really as bright as I thought it would be. You see over there. There's the clear light, and then just red, and then bright red. Oh yeah, I like that bright red. That's gonna be showstopper red. So, I think I'm gonna have to put some more lights up there, in there, somewhere, somewhere in there, in there, up there, but that's okay. We have the technology. I know. I was surprised too. No, I wasn't at all. Um, okay. So, oh, let's see. This is dry enough to paint. Is it dry enough to paint? It's got a little tack. I think we could probably paint it before I go home for super. Um, now, did dad put all my stuff in here? I've got, so let's take these. Um, yeah, I need these. And this one, this one. What else we got in here? I think that's. I think that's all I need. I should have uh, some other. These were the speakers in the back. I wonder if they're any good. You know what? No. I can say they're not good. We'll get new ones. But take these because, of course, they're all smoke damaged. <clears throat> and what I want to do. Let's put the watermelon lights in it. So, I know, it's gonna be awesome. <sighs> Provided it works like it's supposed to work. Come over here to my working bench. Um, and I gotta figure out how to take these bad boys apart. Not really that difficult. So that's just a little little stwitch. These look like they... We're going to get these out. And then these will go in there, but I need to take... Yeah, these are all corroded to turkey. Is that a word? To turkey? Well, let's make it happen, Mike. Let's make it happen. So we got that and that. So that'll be for the, the lighty light. How do I get that out? Looks like it's popping out. It's out! <sighs> okay, so there's two little... Just two little clips that hold that in. Huh! Well, that was easy. So let's do that to... Well, we could do it to all of them. But I'll go get a light. 
I should order some more of these little switches off Amazon if I can. I don't know what size that is though. Okay, so can I? Ooh, it's kind of big. It's kind of big. I mean, I could go like that. Or, because of course the switch is there. Just like that, and screw it on. Then screw the watermelon light on. I need room for my ring. big side. Dang it. Does that mean I'm going to have to do something different? So this is a little uh, two inch air breather light. That would kind of work but I need a dual revolution one that goes clear and red. Or, where'd the go? What if I did it? No. I mean, if I put only the light there, it kind of works. a bit of a gap there but that's what I was thinking about well let's clean this off and I think well it's working good for sure it scared me 